crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna make some harvest blend, harvest mix, um, a treat for my friends and we're gonna make some caramel sauce. Exciting, huh? Okay, this makes a lot. This is a big old bowl. In here we have a 12 ounce box of like rice squares, rice checks, rice something. Seven ounces of bugles. This is two three and a half ounce bags. Four cups of pretzels. So this is what's left of that. That's what's going to get coated in this mixture that I'm making. And then we're going to um, bake it in the oven on 275 to dry out. Now that is for that's the microwave that is for the base then we're going to add candy corn and uh m&ms to this batch now the caramel sauce is melted caramels along with um butter and then we're going to put in it a can of sweetened condensed milk and i will show you that in a second but what i'm going to do is turn around and we're going to do this harvest mix first so give us a second Okay, now, in here I have three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Oop, let me get a spatula real quick. So we have three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and then three quarters of a cup of melted butter. And that's going to become the topping. It's going to be like a little sugar coating to go on all of this mix that we have back here. And we're going to stir it up until it melts and dissolves. And then we're going to stir it over and I have two big pans that are going to go in the oven. This is going to be interesting, just so you know. Let me see if I have a spat or on my, my little mini whisk. I think we'll make this do a little better. And then we have to stir it up, but we need this to melt. So, um, I'm wondering how this would be with a little cinnamon in it. I think that would be good. But this is a lot. I may have to put it in the, oops, I might have to put it in the microwave, maybe, to get it to melt. And I just buy this at the Dollar Tree. It's a small thing of light brown sugar. Um, if you're not keto, you probably already have this at your house. I do not. All right. So, and then in the back burner back here, I have a 13 ounce package of Kraft caramels, a can of sweetened condensed milk, and a quarter of a cup of butter. And it's just all sitting back here on low. It was in the microwave for a second. And you just want to stir it on occasion. You're not making caramel, you're just melting the caramels. Now you could totally make your own caramel sauce, um, but I'm not about that life today. I'm gonna to put these in little cups and they're gonna go in a bag with these treats for this weekend. I'm gonna meet my work friends. And yeah, okay, so this is good. I think it's dissolved and melted, right? So the first thing I need to do is see if I can stir it up over all of this and get it evenly coated. I mean, I don't even have a bigger bowl than that. So I'm gonna use this big old thing. They're in the oven at 275. We're gonna stir it about every five minutes until it's all dry. 
Okay, we have the caramel sauce melted. And it definitely has a taste of sweetened condensed milk. I think the next batch, I'll just melt caramels and put a little cream in it. But this is still yummy to put in uh, with some caramel, to make caramel apples for sure. Um, it was just a new recipe, but it's good. I did taste it a little bit. I know I'm not supposed to, but I did. That's okay. Now what I'm gonna do is bring that over here. I'm moving this. I have chocolate chips that are gonna go in there too. But I want to fill up, these are little half cup Tupperware containers. And they're gonna stay in here until they get room temperature and then I'll put them in the refrigerator. And then the person I give it to can microwave it up and dip their apples in it, which I think would be awesome. Now there is a keto caramel sauce I can make for me and I will make it. I just can't have it with apples, but I think I'm gonna make myself a um, keto version of, what is it, bread pudding. Yeah, so if this is good, definitely for, I need to clean up the side before I put the lid on. There, so now I've got that much and then we're gonna top everybody off. These are gonna be great little treats to pass out to my coworkers and their families this weekend. We're doing an outside meet and greet, socially distanced. It's gonna be in the 70s at a local park. So everybody will be good. And this makes apparently almost exactly two cups, which is perfect, right? Okay, then we're gonna take a paper towel. I can't put this in the fridge yet, but while it's still warm, and you wanna just wipe off any excess, and then I just tap out any air bubbles. But you wanna make sure the outside of the cups are clean. Pop the air bubbles out. So that is done. And then like I said, we'll just let it, um, put it in the refrigerator tonight once everything has cooled off. But you don't wanna put it in there now. Got to come to room temperature. So that's done. Now the other thing that's gonna go in this treat, I have these from Halloween, I think last year, maybe the year before. They're like vials, like science vials. And we're gonna fill them with semi-sweet Godiva chocolate chips. Cause you gotta have chocolate with your caramel apples, right? So let's see, Oops, maybe not. Make it a little bigger. Here I have a um, funnel. However, you can get it in there is what I say. I don't know if this funnel will work. I'm thinking it's a no-go on the funnel. Yeah, well, let's just do it this way. And I don't know how many they need, but I didn't get this milk chocolate. I got semi-sweet. Oops, that's way too many. And then I will just send the rest here. Look at that. And look, chocolate chips. I have the cereal in the fridge or in the oven doing its thing. I'll bring you back when everything is ready to get mixed and I'll show you what the stuff looks like cool. All right, they came out of the oven. I would say it took about 30 minutes for all of this to dry. This is a lot of mix. I think next time I will do it in two smaller batches, like half the batch or something. Um, just because it was a lot, it's a lot to manage in normal pots and pans. I did buy these at the Dollar Tree and they're really cheap. So that's the other thing. They're not real sturdy, but that's fine. I need this to cool. Then we're gonna add the candy corn. It calls for candy pumpkins too, but I just got candy corn and I got M&Ms. And we're gonna mix that up and then we're gonna put it back in the big bowl, but I will make one bag and show you what it's gonna look like. But we'll mix it up first. All right, 
They're all cooled off. Got a bag of candy corn. We're gonna do like half in here and half in here because I'm never gonna be able to mix this up in the big in the big bowl. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We got M and M's. Whoop. Half and half. And then we're just gonna stir everybody up like this, right? And then I'm gonna put them in the big bowl and I'm gonna bag up one little one just to show you how I'm gonna give it away. So let's stir this all up. All right, here we go. Look at this mix, guys. That made a lot of mix. Um, what I would recommend is a half a serving if you're not, unless you're feeding a lot of people. I have 100% apple juice in this little container that looks like an apple. I've got some caramel sauce, some chocolate chips, and I was going to get them an apple, but they can just get an apple. And then a bag of mix. And these bags I got at the Target Dollar Spot, they're just plain. I wrote, Hello Fall. And you get eight of them for $3. So, I mean, it's an okay deal. So we're going to put the caramel at the bottom. And the apple juice can sit right on top there. You see how that is? Then we're going to take this pumpkin full of mix. Turn it sideways. I'm not going to shove it all the way down, but it fits. And then that's going to go right in there. And then maybe some tissue or not. But that's going to be the little gift bag that I'm going to bring for my friends. And then I'll bring extra mix for them to take home to their families. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, you have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.